Hi everyone, today we're going to go over author's purpose. So what is the author's purpose? It is the reason why the author wrote or created something. Why is the big idea? How do we find the author's purpose? So first we have the three main purposes, persuade, inform, and entertain. So persuading, you want to look for an opinion reasons. So that would be like, you should do this because of this. And then we have to inform and you should look for facts or information like one in 10 hamsters are cute. And then to entertain, you should look for characters with a problem and a solution. So you might look for words like once upon a time, because that would mean it's a story. So how do we find the author's purpose? Remember PI. PI is an easy acronym that you can remember. So persuade, inform, entertain, P-I-E. And once again, the author writes to get you to do something or believe what they are saying. It's an argument. For inform, the author writes to give you information about a topic. There is none of the author's opinion included in the writing. And then there's entertain. The author writes to tell you a story that you will enjoy. It doesn't always have to be fiction. Uh, nonfiction or fiction. Okay, so once again, we can also look for keywords. These are different keywords for each of these. So to give a couple, we have in my opinion, letters, words that compare, good, better, or best. Those are for persuade. Then we have inform. So we can have charts, data, graphs, text features, and then what you might think of as dull facts. Those will be included in pieces that are meant to inform. And then we have entertain. So for entertain, you'll see words like once upon a time, talking animals, rhyming, jokes or humor, or a lot of dialogue. That will hint to you that it's a story. And once again, the author's purpose is all about Pi. Persuade, inform, entertain. So why is finding the author's purpose important? It helps us make sense of and comprehend text. It helps us understand the reasons the authors wrote the piece. It helps us distinguish between fiction and nonfiction. It helps us understand how to read the selection. It allows us to think critically about techniques the author includes and it allows us to acknowledge the author's point of view. It is important. All right, now for a video. Ooh, GT, I like this one. something or think differently about a topic if they try to inform they just giving you facts it's far from opinion most of the time the information is non-fiction if they want to entertain they just trying to make you laugh to keep your attention most of the text that entertains is mostly fiction they use stories fantasies and mysteries if you know all this purpose you can dissect the text so easily when you read the title of the text i want you to think are they trying to persuade are they trying to inform are they trying to explain or are they simply trying to entertain what is the author trying to do to me what is the author trying to do to me are they trying to inform are they trying to persuade are they trying to explain or are they simply trying to entertain what is the author trying to do to me what is the author trying to do to me? Are they trying to inform? Are they trying to persuade? Are they trying to explain? Or are they simply trying to entertain? All right, so that was the video. So as a reminder, 
The three different authors' purposes are to persuade, inform, or entertain, aka pie. And here's some pie. Have a great day.